at DFZ as usual. I'm uh, heading into the double tree for the Mobile Tech Expo. I wasn't sure I was coming, so I had to make sure to register. So I guess the line line starts here. Most absorbent material we'd ever tested. Usually you can get, like on a Terry style, you get about seven times uh, absorption. But with uh, the pressure, you can get up to 10 with a 70 30 blend. This took us up to about 11 times uh, weight for absorbency. Mm -hmm. So it was the most, the most absorbent material we'd ever tested. So we thought, okay, what do we want to do with it? Obviously a drying towel, but we also made a 1616, and we will send you a 1620. Right. Mm -hmm. we'll so this is the puffle. This is the puffle. Yeah. Is it pluffle or pu pluffle? Pluffle stands for plush waffle. Okay, got you. I like it. I've got to put the two together. Cool. So I'm at Mobile Tech Education Day. Just rooms of different uh, different classes we can go to. Kind of cool. Figure I might as well come since I'm only 45 minutes from here. There's, there's the, there's the famous, famous Mike Phillips. This one looks best for a company to see if I want to, you know, if you want me to test it, I'm like, I would not launch, I would not launch this, how to use the Rupes polishers. It says how to use the Rupes paint polishing system. And, and uh, when I started writing this book, I started to really get deep into the Rupes world. Um, I had the good opportunity to actually go to Italy and visit their plant. Uh, I got to see everything there except for their foam pad manufacturing plant. They wouldn't let anybody in there, at least at that time. I thought that was really interesting. I see how the backing plates are made and everything. And um, <clears throat> I think in the introduction of the book, one of the things I say is, forget everything you know. Hey, how about a big round of applause? <laughs> Up from the night before, just look at the same clothes on. I was just getting ready to start, and I tell the story about how uh, the Rupes isn't a tool, it's a system. And um, so, when I wrote the introduction of the book, what I says is, look, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go Rupes, you want to get the tool, the pad, and the chemical. And you don't you don't just get one; you get them all. <laughs> and uh, every year they seem to add a couple of new tools, so um, it's kind of more of a uh, a lifestyle in the detailing world, so to speak. Anyway, so I let me take let you take over. There's the clicker. Thank you. She's all warmed up and ready to go. All right. Um, thanks so much for taking the time, and uh, he uh, set up the topic pretty well. Uh, a little bit about <laughs> myself. I started my career as a mobile detailer. Had a business for 12 years. So. How many of you are mobile? Uh, shop. Um, in case you've never had a shop, this this would be an eye opener for you. In my opinion, and for us, worth, as soon as you get a shop. Um, if when you're mobile, you can do what I call show car detailing, kind of pick and choose, work on the cool cars, charge a lot of money. As soon as you get a shop, by default, you become a production detail detailer because you have overhead. And let's just use round numbers, just a thousand bucks. Say and that's, that would be really cheap if everything you had in your head, rent, phone bill, insurance, everything's a thousand bucks. But if you uh, sometimes really? actually get somebody you can't challenge. So the English translation is. Uh, Manufacturer Specialty Pneumatic and uh, Electric Tools. So right in the name of the company, it speaks to the core competencies of what we do well. So it's, we're always growing, we're always evolving, we're always changing, we're always learning from each other. And that's the, the nice thing about like the IDA. It's an association of detailers to help everybody grow together. And part of being profitable, the IDA is part of that. Uh, you know, a lot of people will ask, why should I join the IDA? What can the IDA do for me? Well, if you're asking that question, you're asking the wrong question. Can't wait to see you in That's what you going to say. All right, fine, I can do that. Well, oh, I guess you're still rolling? I'm just rolling. Oh, this is great. <laughs> why do I feel like this is gonna be a... We got a lot of bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> we have this bloopers. This is gonna be the best video the you got yet. Reel is an hour, and our take is. 10 Here, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just point at your crotches, and you yes. just keep talking. <laughs> Are you ready? It's, it's turned into just. I squat like this all day long, and now it turns into. Whoa! What is that? Whoa! Yes. What? Oh. Oh. It's, it's a phone button. All right, tighten it up. Things everywhere. I gotta keep this running. <laughs> People in their cars. <laughs> There's more blooper reel than anything on this. Don't okay, they know right? that we're doing a take right now? <laughs> Florida, stop. Okay.
see, the thing is, this car makes very little power down low. So just imagine we hit about 5,000 RPMs. When we went over that bump, and I was just yeah. probably at four grand. Red light camera. Yeah. I could feel the wheels. Even. Right. Yeah. Confusing state you have here. Well, I haven't been. I haven't been over this part of town. This is tourist town here. This is International Drive, Universal, and I'm trying to heel toe right now. Maybe I won't do it on my first try. I can't heel toe to save my life. I've been practicing for a long time. It's a little. How about I not do that on your car? That's so. And the first time I was doing it in the Porsche, like you could tell I was heel toeing because I'm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd stop and the engine would go Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I'll maybe not do that right now. <laughs> the seat is tight. Like I'm about as yeah. skinny a human being as it gets. Right. I just float. I either float left or float float right. Yeah. But I mean it feels good. I mean for me, I just can't imagine. The back, I think the back bolsters are great. Yeah. The sides are great too. Yeah. The back, side, shoulder, everything else is good. This thing would probably do great with harnesses. Oh yeah, yeah, you totally would. The one thing I noticed in this car is it's it's really um, it's work to drive it. Like if you're on a back road, like it's it, you're working a lot harder than I feel like I do in my other cars, the German cars. Forget, I keep messing you up like I'm getting Larry's head and like your chin up. Is that okay? I, I am now, I am going to be so, now that this is a, a thing, I'm going to be, my spine is... <laughs> Come down! Um, how much taller can I be than you? So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. 